Hi beautiful Aries. This is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage with your Soul Tarot reading for April 2017. I am continuing to use the Celtic Wisdom Tarot deck. Very beautiful deck by Caitlin Matthews. I have uh, some messages that are coming through so I'm just I'm going to share a little bit of information and then I'm going to jump in. For those of you who have not, who are new to the channel, welcome. We love having you here. Um, I am clairvoyant and clairaudient, clairsentient, and through my own journey have finally found my way to YouTube in answer to a request that I got about joining the collective to provide a way for messages to come through me for the benefit of everyone who would resonate with these messages and much is happening here in 2017 there's a lot of shift and change going on on the planet but also deep in the hearts of men is a message that's coming through we are all shifting we are coming into greater alignment with our hearts. We are beginning to make the journey that will allow us to function from that place going forward. And so uh, the, the message that has come through to me this morning uh, in, instructed me, if you will, to, to let everyone know that these readings that started in January and February and brought us through the eclipses are uh, sent out to help us on our individual paths as we work to activate ourselves and then go forward in that state of activation. And so what Spirit is saying is these are letters that's a word, those are the words I'm hearing. That this is meant to be a communication and letters. I'm, I'm hearing the word love letters, which is really beautiful. For us, walking the human realm. So that we do not feel alone. And I'm getting choked up, and I always know when that happens, there's a lot of, a lot of energy coming through. And so, I will tell you that there is a shift in the energy from last month. Anyone who is new to the channel or if you need a refresher, please go look at the readings for February and March. And if you have a chance, the readings for that I did for the eclipses. Um, there is a process that began this year and it is continuing and Spirit says it will be a process. And so whatever advice and guidance may help you is what is meant to come through the cards and through my voice as I interpret the messages of the cards. So this is a general reading of course. My email is posted on the description below the video if you would like a private reading. Thank you so much for all your requests. I really have been enjoying connecting with you and uh, I want to say a deep thanks for the donations that are coming through. It is helping me uh, continue this work and so um, I'd like to forge ahead. Thank you so much for being patient with me. At the center of your reading, lying over the top of this reading, is the judgment of art. And I will say that the, the feeling on the table this morning is there's a lot of emotion and it is quiet. There is deep emotion, deep quiet. And when we see this card, the judgment of art, it indicates for Aries this month the energy that will be present in your sphere that will be guiding you as you go through your month. So the judgment of art is, I'm not surprised to see this after the reading last month. And you know to encapsulate, you see the line down the middle of this card one half indicates growth and stability, and the other half obviously indicates some fracture and the falling away. Do you see the base is crumbling? The whole structure is at risk. 
The life energy is flowing out. There is not new growth. In fact, there is death of the old way. And so spirit is guiding us and letting, letting you know, Aries, that now that you have been activated through the process that you went through in February, through the eclipses and all the information and knowledge that came to you, and the ways in which you connected with spirit very deeply across the divide, the next part of that journey is now beginning to unfold. I am doing this reading on the day after the spring solstice. I waited purposely for that and asked spirit what were the mes messages for you going forward. So I expect to see messages about how the world around us is changing, the things that are falling away, the old way crumbling or beginning to crumble. And in your heart, in your mind, and in the actions you take, there is a significant judgment about the art of life, the art of spiritual life, and what that commands of you, given your individual circumstances. And, you know, it will be a little bit different for everyone. Spirit continues to tell me you will know what that means if you see, search yourself and understand this month this is a theme going forward okay so that is overlying this reading and uh, what, what I'm learning by doing the readings is, is we are going to see some messages about that about the situation here on earth about your walk as a spiritual warrior working with your heart, not with weapons, with your heart and with your sacred mind. Actually, Spirit is telling me to pick up the book. <laughs> with your sacred mind and your heart. Okay? That's the message that I'm getting right in this moment. I'm getting really pushed to show this image. So, let's see what is at the center of the reading. Well, there. Do you see that? That is the king of art. All right? So the king of art is a very sacred being. He is activated at the heart chakra. There is, you know, an indication of male type of energy utilized to, uh, what I'm getting is, to activate your will from your heart center. And with the sacred vision that you have after the process that you came through last month and through the eclipses, you are accompanied by the raven who has the capacity to see and travel back and forth across the veil. We still see images in this card of the sun, of the solar eclipse, during which you were very activated, and your warrior nature was called upon to use this deep connection. And in fact, if you remember last month, you were counseled that there was uh, a lot of revelation happening, and a lot of very deep transition and change. The type of change that happens through a reincarnation process, actually. So again, if you haven't seen that reading, please take some time and check it out. So, this is your set point this month. You are being accompanied in this way. And we have side by side the king of art with the judgment of art lying next to and it is heartening for me to see that the part of this card that is about regeneration and growth is sitting next to the king of art. So the old ways, we are you know, just reminded those things are falling away. Continue to use your sacred vision to be able to see beyond what is happening here on the earth. That is the message that I'm getting, okay? So let's see. This is this row, for those of you that are new, are about uh, the things happening on your human journey. Uh, interesting. Look, it's the mingler. That is why Spirit wanted me to pick up the book. Do you see? She is here with us. I'm sorry, I'm getting some glare off the window. The mingler is here. This is the mingler of energy. She is the sacred alchemist who sits above across the veil, in the spirit realm, with the divine, with her entire focus 
on the things, on the beautiful souls, I'm hearing the word souls, here on this planet, in order to take their efforts and their love and their energies and mingle together with all the work that is being done on an individual basis in order to bring change and to uh, bring our destiny forward through this alchemy, through this mingling. And you see this corner of the card, how it looks like there's a portal here, perhaps below, if you will, with all this energy coming up in order for her to utilize to do her sacred work. So the work you are doing it is a reminder. You are working with the sacred mingler through your ability to see. You do have sacred vision now, Aries. And, you know, through your warrior nature as an Aries, whether you are a man or a woman, there's a certain type of male energy. I'm an Aries rising, so I understand what this means. There's a certain type of male energy that we carry, whether you are a man or a woman. And it has to do with creating action, having the power to develop action with your will as you travel back and forth because you are here on this realm with the ability for sacred vision and sacred action. That is what Spirit wants me to say. So let's see what is here. This is interesting. So do you remember last month, here in the center of the reading, we had a beautiful image of a man and woman joined together with the ring of fire shown above, shining down on them. And there were a lot of messages about the eclipse. And so I believe Spirit is is attempting to speak to you about the continuation. That's why, that's why I was getting the message about letters. I kept hearing things about letters. So Spirit wants you to know this is really a, a conversation that Spirit would like to continue to have with anyone who shows up here on the channel and a request to really understand the message as a thread. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So these two individuals, again, the joining of male and female energy, the two parts of us that have been not fully recognized, actually what I'm getting is not fully realized in the ways that our male and female energy can join together from the inside and in the external world. It is time to balance those energies. This card is about how the things in the past, it's mirroring this actually, can be encapsulated in order to bring change. This card in the background, there's a story. Let me show this to you. There's a little bit of a story, okay? It's about courtship, meaning joining together in an artful way. About, you know, with the art of life, with the intention to have a courtship, with the artful form of living. So this couple intended to be married, and someone sought to interfere with that. And um, the message I'm getting for Spirit is the, the wisdom that these people had by joining their sacred energies and trusting going forward caused the malfeasance that was happening to be gathered up into a sack for transformation. And sitting next to the sacred mingler, I believe, again, the message is going in this direction. There are all these indications. Spirit is reminding you to stay firm and to stand tall uh, is actually what I'm getting, what's coming through. Stand tall and firm in your place. Know that you will be in this place throughout 2017. Actually, it's the message that's coming. It's a reminder. And this is what you were looking at. The mingler is here. These energies are now present here on the planet, as above is what I'm hearing. It'll be interesting to see what's here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some magnetic, mag magnetic energy right there. It's very interesting. So the energy that you are creating here on the earth through the dialogue of art. Do you remember from last month the sacred dialogue spirit asked you to have as you transitioned, as you transformed, 
as you reached your pinnacle of wisdom. So you are standing firm, continuing now to mingle, going on this journey to mingle this energy in order to make an encapsulation, is, is what I'm hearing, uh, around the difficulties that we see here on the earth through the joining of these en energies. And there will be, it, it will continue to be a task that requires some effort. And that is why it is the courtship of art. The king of heart, art pardon me, is here to join you in this courtship. As you go forward, mingling your energies together to bring a new reality. And these things here on the earth are being transformed and being encapsulated. Actually, you know what? I'm being corrected. Spirit is saying... You are counseled to understand that through the power that you have, through the ability to mingle these energies, keeping your focus on what you want to create, that will energetically encapsulate the negativity that we can continue to see as things shift. It is your love. It is your intention. It is your sacred vision. That will be the initial outcome. It takes time, and that is why the mingler is here. The spirit is pushing me to, oh yeah, well, there you go. See, that's the combat of knowledge. So you are going forward in this warriorship way with the sacred knowledge you have in order to meet the challenges, some of them unjust. That's actually a phrase that just came through. Some of them unjust. And the things that are continuing to happen as this process goes forward. This is the combat of knowledge. Okay? If I don't remember if you've seen this card in your readings. I don't think you have, Aries. This is a story about a goddess who married a king. And she told the king, do not reveal my name. And while she was heavily pregnant with twins... This is very interesting, the message coming through. The king actually revealed her name and threw a wager, compelled her to run a race with a horse. He was bragging about the speed of his horses and eventually, you know, through some arrogance, had to let people know that he was married to this woman and about her magical powers and that she could actually run faster, faster than his fastest horse. So she requested to be, uh, you know, relieved from this wager. He refused. And the outcome was that, of course, she beat the horse. But do you see the passion? Do you see the fire? Again, the eclipse of the sun activating us to help us reach not only our goal against these great odds, but also some, some wisdom some knowledge. And in the end of the story, uh, not only did she prevail, but there was a shift. She gave birth to twins, and they were, you know, for in, in a magical way, things moved forward, and the here's what the message is coming through. The power that is at play in the world now we are going to see that dissolve. It will be encapsulated through the shift in our energy and our sacred vision. When we focus our energy through this judgment of art on the things we truly desire and are willing to let go. So in this place, do you see this line that's developing? This is uh, part of the message this month and there is a reminder of where to keep your focus and your energy and that these things, these difficulties, all of the deceit, all of the arrogance, all of the things that seeks to um, encapsulate power for the wrong use, those things are going to be burnt away. They're going to be encapsulated through the joining of our energy and our sacred vision. This card indicates that going forward, there is going to be new growth from these struggles and challenges. 
So spirit is, it's interesting because there's a lot of energy, but it is very quiet. There is a hush. And I think perhaps as Aries has stepped across their own divide, deeper into themselves, I believe now there is some focus, some internal attention. And perhaps, I'm, you know, I think part of why I'm getting all this quiet energy is there's a little bit of internal distress about the situation and maybe a feeling of overwhelm. And Spirit is letting you know, don't worry about it. Stay here. Trust yourself. Trust Spirit. Things are in process. Keep your vision above. Keep your vision and your intention and your thoughts and your heart on the things you want to create. A world of greater love and calm and quiet and new growth from a new perspective. Okay? So it's interesting that this is lined up this way. I'm curious to see what is here at the bridge since the king of art is here in the center with his sacred vision. Look at that, Aries. That is really beautiful. That is the queen of battle. She is a sacred shaman and she is here to assist you with this. Okay? I hope you understand that. Spirit, Spirit is saying in all of these ways, you are being accompanied. And look, she stands just above the mingler and next to the king of art. So, yes, I believe the message is, these things are being transformed because your sacred vision is stepping onto a different plane. You, you have done it. If you look at last month's reading, you literally shifted into a very different form of being, okay, and awareness. You have come, you have brought your vision from a higher place, that's the message Aries, I'm sorry. You have brought your vision from that higher place here to the earthly plane in order to mingle these energies because you know that this, what we see around us, and we did talk about that last month, we're going to continue to see it, but it is being transformed. You are to be trusting and feel assured that it's being transformed and this card which is the bridge from here on the earthly plane to your journey this month on the spiritual level we have a sacred magician she is the queen of battle the shaman if you will who has also like the king of battle and they are again male and female energy standing side by side so Spirit is telling us, we know there is a battle going on in the hearts of men. That's the phrase that's coming to me. And we are to keep our vision on this new growth. These battles here on earth are being magically transformed. Both of these stories in the courtship of art and the combat of knowledge are about transforming energies that created strife, that created cheating, that created lies, that created misuse of power. Queen and King of Battle are here with us, standing side by side. And we are to be assured that they are not only assisting us, but that we have available to, their, uh, to us their energy, and we are shifting in that direction with them. That is the message that's coming through. It's very interesting, Aries. So let's see what is here. <clears throat> wow. Okay, this is the quest of skill. Okay. So again, do you see the stag? Do you remember from last month? Look who's here. Spirit is here. Really, hand in hand is what I'm hearing. Spirit is hand in hand. Do you, you are being reminded. Do you remember the transformation card last, night, uh, last month? Pardon me. There were many. This card obviously a message about the ways in which you continue to transform and each one of these creatures has the significance of very deep and look there's the indication of Pisces which also was the conditions at this solar eclipse please go and check it out online you are here at the center spirit is telling you it is coming through you are here at the center you are continuing to shift and change. You have returned for your sacred journey with the king and the queen of art. You are continuing to gestate. 
and transform. It is amazing how quiet this energy is. A lot of power, but very quiet. You are very deep. You understand, perhaps, that this is happening, and perhaps you are really feeling in this place. So in the spirit realm, you are being acknowledged once again about the place that you are taking here on the earth. And do you know it's interesting because this card, I think, goes with this card. Do you see how in a certain way they have encapsulated the difficulties of life that were challenging them and the joining of their energies through a marriage on the on the physical plane, right? But in in these readings, it's about the joining of your energies. And the ability to encapsulate that which opposes you and the opposes the goals that you seek through the joining of these energies. And you are being successful. You, you, you know, here in April, I believe you are just going deeper. You are stepping more closely into the power that you were given in order to be a spiritual warrior from your heart chakra, if you understand the meaning. And this, it's interesting that the stag is very prominent in this particular card. Very prominent. And also, eagle. And eagle has the power to fly far ahead, far above, pardon me, this world. Looking down with sacred vision. It's very interesting. So, Spirit is telling you, take the time. Take care of yourself. Go deep. Continue to go deep. Make sure you do not become overwhelmed. Spirit is asking you to take quiet. I believe that's the message going forward. So let's see what else is happening here. Ah, there we go. Oh, more confirmation. This is the elopement of knowledge. This is the sacred cauldron of wisdom. The story behind it is about a young lad who, through an accident while he was minding the pot, had some of the sacred brew boil over onto his fingers. He caught, reached out, caught it with his fingers, and imbibed all the knowledge there was to ingest. And uh, there was a lot of um, anxiety in that moment, and he ran away and shapeshifted into all these different types of animals in order to hide from his mother, who, who was the goddess who set the brew. So there is acknowledgement that there may be some anxiety or a lot of movement going on because of the knowledge that we are gaining. That is what I, that is what's coming through. So I want you to just for a moment just look at these lines that are developing, okay? It's very interesting. The mingler is here, providing a foundation for the queen of battle. The sacred shamaness, who goes back and forth and helps, uh, helps souls travel back and forth in their transformational journey. And you are here at the top of the line again, Aries, continuing to gestate in this very deep, sacred, blue, color of change and transition with the stag right at the forefoot, uh, forefront. Again, it's giving me a chill. So this knowledge, this elopement of knowledge that has come to you is moving you forward and Spirit is acknowledging that you, that you may feel some anxiety, interestingly enough. And again, part of the story behind this card is a caution about becoming overwhelmed by taking on too much. So balance yourself. Choose balance. Mingle your energies. Take your time. You are in the beginning part of a process and you are not finished with your uh, transitional journey. That's part of the message. But you are being uh, assured that all is going in the direction that it should. And you are, here's, here's the message. You are not personally responsible for the outcome. You are responsible for your piece of this journey and when you take care of your piece of this journey that we are on as a collective, positive outcomes will result. And so do not feel overburdened about the strife here on this planet that we still see and all the upheaval that's going on around us, okay? 
So let's see what is here. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. All right, this is beautiful. This is the quest of battle. It's a very deeply mystical card. Do you see? This is a card about souls on a journey. That's what I was just literally talking about. Souls on a journey. Trying to reach a shore that is very desired because it is crimson. There's a lot of passion there. But these folks are just rowing and rowing and there is a feeling of hopelessness. This card indicates that this sacred quest, this battle that you are having on the inside, Spirit is telling me, about what is happening here on earth, it, you, you are counseled not to engage with feelings of hopelessness. Because in the moments when we think everything is lost, that is when shift and change happens. That's what this is about, look. And you know what, see this, see this line? This is very interesting. You are being reminded, it's going to be okay. There is this intense battle with knowledge about the art of living, about the courtships that we need to create through this quest of skill that you are developing and building going forward into a quest that is about a battle for the minds and hearts and spirits here on the earth because you know what's true aren't we all just souls just here walking the earth having our adventure on a quest and you because you are a warrior standing in the center of your own life now you are on the quest that comes to you through the battle in order to capture the hearts and the souls of the people around you and help create the energy that will bring this very deep transformation. Do you see this? Very deep, continuing to be very deep. Transformational journey with your vision. In this very powerful way with the queen and the king standing side by side, supported by the mingler. So Aries, uh, there is a, a very deep process continuing. And I think because we have just come through the solstice, there is more awakening happening. And I, I think you may end up having a very quiet month. Let's see what is here at the outcome. Okay. Oh, Aries, look. That is the guardian. Do you see her? The guardian is here, protecting us, bringing through the energy of the sacred mother. She is extremely wise, very, very powerful on a spiritual plane. She is filled with sacred wisdom. She is a warrior in her own right. And she battles on the sacred realm. And, you know, all of these cards, because they are about the ancient Celtic tradition, we see the swords and the spears. And again, I just, Spirit is sort of nudging me to, to urge you to understand that this is about energy, holding strength and power. Those are your weapons. This is not about the physical battles and the violence. That's what Spirit's wanting to say. It's not about this. That's the combat we're having. With this knowledge, we have to decide it's time to put this away. And that is why, it's interesting, that is why, if you've seen the alignment of these cards, that is why it's lined up this way. Spirit is acknowledging for us. This is how it feels. This is what we are experiencing as a group of souls adrift on the ocean of our own experiences that those are the words that are coming through and we are, look look at this i'm going to pull this apart a little bit do you see this just this line the queen of battle the king of art here 
standing next to us while we have the judgment, internal discussions about how to create something new and let what needs to die crumble and fall away. And the guardian is here as the outcome, assuring us, assuring you, Aries, that you are being protected. This is the high priestess. She is here to help you understand and feel protected and loved and held. Look at all the ways you are held while we continue to see. I'm, you know, a part of what's happening as I'm sitting here with these cards is I'm wondering what is going to happen here on the earth this month. Um, I, I think we may see some significant events that may that may cause us some internal stress. And Spirit is telling us, take heart, you are being protected, and you are to use your energy and your sight and your vision to look into the deepest aspects as this knowledge causes you to take a, another transformational journey. Continue, not another. Spirit corrected me. To continue your transformational journey, do not be afraid. There is no need to run and hide. There is only a need to take care of yourself and come into the center of your transformation. That is the message I'm getting. Because the mingler, do you see this line? The mingler, the queen of battle, and the quest of skill. Spirit is letting you know that as you take this journey and you continue on this spirit journey, with the guardian at the outcome you are being accompanied and you may feel some overwhelm and you may feel some anxiety and you may feel some hopelessness about the outcome and what could be possible here and you're being told very clearly through this combat of the knowledge that we have the guardian is here with the king of art and the queen of battle and the mingler to help us transform the situation here and we do continue to see souls adrift on a journey that feels hopeless and in the moment when they feel that all is lost actually they reach their goal and this is about the feelings of defeat the feelings of hopelessness the feelings of the fear that comes when we feel lost adrift if you will and this is the feeling. These are the things that are going to cause us as a collective to put in the energy and the effort in order to create a new beginning. That's what the message is. Let me move this apart. Do you see that? Do you see that line? This video is going really long and I'm going to have to think about whether to re-record it, but there is a deep message here. I, I'm going to urge you to um, Look into these cards for a minute. A spirit is telling me to pick, pick from the bag of runes about this. Spirit, are there any other messages coming through for Aries for April 2017? Spirit, what are the messages coming through for Aries? Please give us some clarification about this message for Aries for April 2017 about this transformation. About the human journey. I believe this is a message about the human journey. Okay, Aries. Let's see. I, will, I always read directly from the book about the runes because I think that um, the, the uh, work that's been done does not need my interpretation. <laughs> so this is the rune of growth. Okay, that's very interesting. I'm glad to see that. And as it came out, this is in the upright position. Yeah, very, okay. So Spirit is saying, this is about rebirth. Okay? This is a cycle rune. It represents a form of fertility that fosters growth, both symbolically and actually. The growth may occur in affairs of the world. To see? 
That's it. That's the message I'm getting. It may occur in family matters and relationship of the self to the self and to the divine. Thank you, Spirit. That, that is what I've been feeling. So this rune leads to blossoming and ripening. It is concerned with the flow of beings into their new form. Now I'm just going to I'm just feeling tears in my eyes. Its action is gentle, penetrating, and pervasive. What is called for here is to consider your issues with care and awareness. First, you must disperse resistance and then accomplish the work. For this to happen, your will must be clear and controlled and your motives must be correct. Any dark corners should be cleansed. This must be carried out diligently and sometimes with expert help. Do you see? It's really beautiful. Modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity are called for. Once resistance is dispersed and rectification carried out and seen to hold firm, then through steadfastness and right attitude, blossoming occurs. I love how the Spirit speaks through these cards and through these runes. So, Aries, thank you for your patience. I would like you to spend some time with the cards. Uh, Spirit is saying you may be able to feel the energy coming through if you just gaze into the cards. Thank you for being patient. This is a very long message this month. I'm looking forward to hearing about your journey and any insights that may come to you. And I thank you once again for being here. And I'll look very much forward to speaking with you again in May.